Hello. Welcome to the Evesham. Evesham. Taylor Wimpy. Four bed detached. Kingsbourne. Yeah. On Nantwich. Nantwich. The Kingsbourne collection. Oh, mm -hmm. the Kingsbourne collection. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, tell you a little bit about this house type. This is the Evesham. It's actually known in other regions as the as the Fakenham. Yes. Yeah. The Fakenham, but actually it originates back to the Bryant Victoria house type. Um, there's a few house types that Taylor Wimpy used that use those um, original the house types. Yeah. But it's got um, an integral garage anyway. So this house has got a good 90s pedigree about it. If it was a horse, it's it a hallway. I like I like the kind of yeah. chevron of the hall yeah. there because you come in and it goes around. I wish I could have just viewed, remembered, or viewed a Victoria in the nineties back, in, back time, in time, and then put them side look, by side. Look at eighties show. Home. But actually, that's what we're doing. We're documenting <laughs> house building, aren't we? What? So people in twenty years' time yeah. will be able to look at, at least we're doing it and know what they look like. Exactly. Right. Well, let's open some doors. So we've got a teeny little cupboard. <laughs> Ah, you can yeah. put any coats in there, I don't think. No. You could possibly put some shelves up, but there's probably a lot of wiring going on behind there. Right. There's your downstairs clothes room. Nice tiling on there. Was it wallpaper? I've got a feel. Wall it's wallpaper. It's, it's just been done wallpaper. badly. I mean, I'm not badly, it's just the way it is. I'm That's nice, actually. I am only joking there. It's got textured. Very yeah. nice. Right. So across this way, you've got the lounge, so it's the front, yeah. and you've got this nice angle on the doorway. So the Bryant Victoria had that window at the side there, look. I think this is a very nice lounge. Oh, beautiful scented candles, I like those. You're not a fan of candles, are you, Steve? No. I like a, I don't see the obsession a scented with candle. Fire. Very, very nice. Beautifully decorated, as always. We've got some guys out the front there doing some... Um, Landscaping. They're not the thin flagpoles off. Right, let's uh, get on with the job. What's the dimensions of the lounge? 3 metres 84 by 4 metres 54. Do you know what I learned the other a few weeks ago about Taylor Wimpy? What's that? Is that, um, is that the elite developments, I mean the high end elite developments, have go, they have the dark purple branding. The normal average Taylor Wimpy developments have the the, the white and the red and the white. Red and navy. Yeah. Understairs cupboard. So you know what you're dealing with when you see those flags. And just so you know, Ow. this Ooh. is all this is purple. Right, so this is your kitchen diner then at the back. Some dimensions. Kitchen dining. Three meters uh, sorry, five meters thirty nine by two meters eighty six. I think Taylor Wimpy do that classic four bed really well. Yeah. It's a good space, isn't it? Plenty of room for dining. Oh, I don't hate squeaky floors. Nicely tiled. Right, let's have a look at what's inside this uh, high gloss kitchen. Fridge and freezer. There's your oven and your grill with the uh, push buttons. So plenty of cupboard space below. Oh, it's got one of those pull out things. See, it comes out like that. Clever, isn't it? So you haven't got to get out your hands and knees trying to find. Your sandwich toaster, which is right at the back of the uh, back of the cupboard. Right, so eye line cupboards. There's your boiler there. Nice kettle. Drawers there under the hob. Lovely gas gas hob there with five rings. Extractor fan. Right, which do you think is the dishwasher? Yeah, this side. The end one. You think? No. There you go. That's your washer dryer because there's no separate utility room with this house. So you've got your all your appliances in here, so your dishwasher's next door to it. But I like the way you can't tell. A window there for when you're doing your washing up. French doors there to the rear garden. Understairs cupboard. We've looked in there already. Oh, I've just got. I keep having a bit of a problem with understairs cupboards. Is that definitely downstairs That's done? It. That is the downstairs yeah. done. So as we as we head upstairs, you can see that window that is there. And actually, I'm going to, have to use my gimbal to show you that. Right. I'm not. Well, let's go up. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you're just showing off now there with you your go. new toy. Yeah. Just makes things a little bit smoother for us all. So if the camera's a little bit jerky at times, I'm still getting used to this one. Well, we'd like to know what you think of it, Steve's new filming with his gimbal. It's a more of a floaty experience, but you know, we're working on this. Do you know, I've just had a bit of a deja vu moment then, of, of the last time we came in one of these houses. Faking them? It, 
it's so weird, isn't it? Because we go into so many houses. It's a lovely square. The decor is different, but the house essentially is exactly yeah. the same. Very, very nice indeed. Big, nice, right. nice landing. So, <laughs> of course, in true Taylor Wimpy style, they don't put Rectangle the, um, landing. They do their plans like this. But I don't like those plans. They don't put the numbers on, so no. you can't tell which room is which. No. But I would say we've probably been in enough of them to have a really good idea. So, we'll just start with that bedroom at the back. Nice chest of drawers, but I just think they're a little bit... Sorry, chest of drawers, bedside tables, but they're a bit Can big I just for show this. you this plan? Okay, so Taylor Wimpy, right, this is your plan. So, we know that we've just come up the stairs, yeah? And it's opposite to plan so I think we're in this bedroom here but what is there to tell you which bedroom I don't there know, is but what I know is I think you might be boring them now do you think okay um anyway looking at this looking at this this room here these oversized bedside tables <laughs> are they just too big yeah. for the job they they look like they've come from that program you know where that lady takes she takes yeah. stuff off people at the tip when they're you saying they were potentially in a, in, a, in a skip before? Well, I'm saying that they've been repurposed. I'm, yeah. I'm sure they were very They probably have, look. Individual pieces Look at that. Of Good example of what you can do. I miss that. What's the what record Lady is it? Gaga. What, on vinyl? Yeah. Mm. I like the flamingo thing. Look, there's Gaga on the wall. No, no, I'm not looking. We're just looking at the shabby chic thing. <sighs> Very flamingo he is, Miriam. Yes, yeah. right. We'll carry on around this way. There's your main bathroom. Um, no dimensions for the bathroom. There you go, look at that. Look at that, guys. Um, uh, sanitary wear is by Rocker. Well, you see, viewers, what I then have Russia, to do Russia. is then decipher which bedrooms are which on this plan and then put yeah. the correct, you <laughs> the correct labels on, aren't yeah. I? So, uh, She's boring, you know. I know. I'm just telling so you how to check what I put into okay. the video. Right, so we're at the... Where are we? Above the kitchen here? Yeah. It's hard to tell. Anyway, good room. Very nice. That bed looks like a settee. A window. <laughs> it is a bit. It's a good, good sight room, though, that is, I think. Definitely. Right. What I would be fairly certain of is that this next bedroom is bedroom four. Yes. Because I'd say it is the smallest of the four. Oh, it's nice yeah, though, isn't there it? There we go, the anatomy, with the so stereotypical anatomy of the... We've seen that before, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, very popular. Right, so 2 metres 77 by 2 metres 64. Today, apparently the tornado Yes. It's going on a tour of duty before it's decommissioned. It's going to fly over our house, isn't it, today? Well, I think. yeah, we're not even... You know, I do... We'll so we we'll are show, missing... We'll show the viewers this in a minute, but this fantastic big landing here. Yeah. Look how big it is. It's you huge. could literally land a tornado on this. Could you? Yeah. Bedroom one. You did say they needed the, the landing. Okay. So this is your master bedroom. And it certainly is a master, isn't it? It's beautiful. It is nice. They've got a bit of a poltergeist tree at the back there, look. Oh, don't be awful. No, uh, I'm just saying. That's not nice. Right, you've got a lovely chair. I like to have a chair in a bedroom. You need somewhere to sit and put your shoes on. Sort your handbag out. That's beautiful. It is a really good sized bedroom. Dimensions are 3 metres 84 by 3 metres what, what I'm actually saying is I'm very impressed that they've actually kept the trees in, look. Because you know, that's a lovely old tree. A lot of people won't even know what you mean by a poltergeist tree. tree. Okay. Well, do you know what I mean? I do, and I don't like it. No. That's, that's a horrible bit in the film, actually. I like that bit. No. And that was filmed on a new housing estate. In that, America? Yeah, I still like it. Ensuite bathroom. There we go. Beautiful ensuite, actually. Really light, lovely. Yeah, that lovely. Look at that. For a shower. <laughs> Look at that though, we've got the uh, insanity unit there, okay, that's very nice, four drawers. Do you mean vanity? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew, I actually said that deliberately. The Come insan and look, the flagpoles fell down. They haven't fallen down, they're just putting them up. Oh. oh Emma, come on, what's going on with you today? Right. No, We're done. No? We're oh, done. all right, we're, we're, we're done. She likes to do this bit by the window. 
We oh, finish off by the window. Way. Turn it Hello. right round. There we well, go. Sherm's on life. Steve and Emmy, you know who we are. You know what we do. Yeah. And we. This is the four bed Evesham. Stroke Fakenham. Stroke Victoria by Brian. Kingsbourne Collection. At Nantwich. Yes. Lovely market town. Lots of Tudor. Cheshire. Yeah. Lovely river as well. Yes. Um. Anyway, we hope you've liked this house. Uh, we love this house. We've been in this house many times before. Yeah. If you like what we do, give us a like. And, a, a and don't forget to click subscribe. Because um, we, we love to hear from you, don't we? We do. And we do get a lot of comments in the box down below. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Just like. to let you know that all the details for this fabulous house will be in the description down below. Along with some information about the area um, and what's going on around here. There is actually a football pitch right across the road from this show though. Yeah, Nantwich Town. Is it? Yeah, Nantwich Town. They moved. Oh. And Barrett Homes bought their ground. Okay. Bad that, isn't and it? built on it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so yes, it'll all be in the description box down below, along with a link back to Taylor Wimpy's own website, so you can just click that to navigate to them directly if you want information about availability or current pricing, um, because this development has only really, it's, it's only just started, it's in its infancy, there are going to be an awful lot of houses going on here, I don't mean awful lot, there are going to be a, a, a great deal of new homes going on this site over a six year period, so it's going to be going on for a long, yeah. long time, it's going to be fabulous. And the new gimbal, the new gimbal is quite heavy that I'm holding, so you need to cut it short. Okay, anyway, we hope you like this video, we've got two more houses to see, so we'll catch you on our next Thanks video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.